Hey everyone, this is Wei and thanks for joining me here once again. Uh, for this video, I will be doing another portrait video and this time is the actress model Li Bingbing. And I will be using a 2B and 4B pencil. So let's get started and I'll talk about the process along the way. Alright, so let's draw this face. Uh, I'm just going to start off with the eyes and first thing you should do is always just kind of figure out the slant of the eye, the, the face. So it's kind of like, kind of like this. Alright, so that's going to be your eye level. So I'm just going to start off with one eye and I'll start off with the left eye. I mean her right eye. On the left screen, I mean. Okay, so here it's just kind of roughly roughing the shape of the eye and then we're going to go straight across now to get the distance from the other eyes usually um, in between the eyes is, is kind of um, the space is you know another eye duplicated so we go here her eyes are a little bit farther apart so we we'll probably start somewhere right here so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to sketch in the other eye here's the eyeball and again, this is, um, it starts off pretty rough like this. It's just to get the, the spacing and, you know, you, you can correct as much as you want um, later on, but you kind of have to start somewhere. So if you look at the eyebrow, so we're going to go straight up and you look at the angle from the corner of the eye going straight up. It's kind of like a slight slant and that's where the eyebrow is going to begin. So it's going to be somewhere right here. It's going to end somewhere right here. That's where the hair is. Okay, so it's going to be somewhere like that. Let's just go with that. And then from here, the bridge of the nose. I'm just judging from this distance, you know, um, from the corner of the eye to where the, where the shadow is, probably like somewhere right there. Okay, and then the eyebrow obviously is going to be the same slant. So go with that. Then it's gonna come straight down here. All right. Okay. Let's see how we're doing. All right. So the nose, uh, we're gonna go straight down. And if you look at where her um, her nose kind of end, if you go draw a straight line from like somewhere right around here, if you go straight down, her nose is gonna be somewhere on this line, uh, the wing of her no nose. So to figure out where how you know how far it goes down, we're gonna go from the corner of the eye and then go from the tip of her to the tip of her nose. Like just try to visualize that slant from the corner of the eye to the tip of the nose. So I'm just gonna try to eyeball as much as, as best as I can. So maybe like that. Okay, let's see. So we go straight down. Okay, let's do another reference point. We're gonna go straight down from the eye and you should reach the tip of her nose, which is the other wing of her nose, I mean. Okay, so let's see if the edge of the bottom of her nose is right around here. Straight down. Okay. So probably somewhere right around there. It's kind of hard to see because my reference is off to the side. Okay, so let's just go with that. So you kind of you know, you can check it. Um, see, if we go straight down, we're going to look at the corner of her lip. The corner of her lip, if you go straight up vertical line, it's going to be right around the eye area. So we know it's going to be somewhere right here. And then from the nose, the tip of her, the wing of her nose, her nostrils go straight down. So part of her, her lip, corner of her lip is somewhere right, right here. All right, so we go straight down to the other corner. Uh, where's the other corner of the lip? Go straight up to the eye, go straight down. That's where it is. Okay, so we're gonna do that. And then now we have the lip here. Now we're just gonna draw in the, uh, fill in everything in between now that we have those reference spaces. So she's kind of smiling. All right, so the nose is obviously too long. Let's correct that right now. I'm just gonna dab it just so that there's not too many lines around. It's getting confusing. Okay, so let's do this. Nose angle right here, 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 here. 
lip slanting upwards. Looks like I gotta get the slant. Just trying to catch myself as, as much as I can. Okay, so I totally missed the slant. And you know, the more you do, the more accurate you're gonna get, so that you don't hopefully don't hopefully don't make as much a uh, mistake as I have on this thing already. Okay, so with the see the face right here, chin's gonna straight down. So can you see this one? Let me push this up. Chin, you kind of have to measure the chin, you know, from the bottom of her lip. If you go straight down, like how far is that uh, compared to if you went straight up? So if you go straight up, it's probably reaching around here. So you double that distance, probably around here. Yeah. So a lot of it is just measuring, um, <clears throat> you know, measuring uh, the different elements. And I talk a lot, talk, a, talk about that a lot on my other videos. So let's see your cheeks coming out. Slant, slant, slant. All right. So now I can, let's see, I probably had everything slanted too much. Huh? All right, well, let's just go with it. So even though it's off, you know, as long as it's not crazy off, just, you know, just, just go with it. Because that way, you know, you, uh, at least you'll get the, uh, the shading exercise. All right, so I'm gonna switch to a 4B now, just so I can do it a little bit quicker since I spent so much time on trying to get things accurate. So now I'm gonna hit it pretty hard. Um, usually the eyes are very dark. And usually that is the darkest part of the face. So I like to start off with that because even though you make a mistake, um, knowing that you know it is the darkest part, so you might cover up some of your mistakes. Okay. Let's get the eyebrows a little bit. So just keep it sketchy, you know. Sometimes your lines don't have to be uh, very curvy. It's just, you know, you wanna just sketch in those, those areas. Just sketch it in. So the eyebrow, I know there's some curvature to it, but I'm just gonna sketch it in this way because it's quicker, you know, it's easier to do. And then you can always add in the, uh, the curvature later. Because you, you can you think of it as, you know, bra shapes and then, you know, um, finer and finer adjustments. So it can be boxy. So I'm gonna accentuate the highlight a little bit just to make it a little bit more interesting. Okay, so, all right. So the eye is there. Let's see, let's let's move on to the other part of the face. Um, I mean, if you wanna keep concentrating the eye, you could, uh, because the eye is very important. And if you, if you make this, you know, if you make the eye look really good, I mean, the rest of the face really becomes uh, much less important. All right, so let's move, or let's just move down a little bit. Okay, we're gonna show you a little bit there. Bottom of the lip, yeah, obviously. See, now I'm catching myself with these uh, angles. I'm trying to fix them as I, as I start shading. So this part right here, the lip is usually, corner of the lips are usually dark. It just sinks in, so. So here, let's see, let's do this. Let's just shade. Now I know there's some highlights on the lip and I'm gonna, I'm just gonna shade it um, cause I'll bring it back with a, with an electric eraser later. Okay, let's do the nose. Uh, make sure you don't make the nose too dark because um, it's usually it's like a glamor photo, you know, with the, when you take photos and stuff, they blow out your face. And then usually the, and that that has the effects of blowing out the uh, the features on the nose, and which makes the face actually look more attractive, because it looks a little bit cleaner. 
Okay. Okay, so let's see. The features are there. All right, so let me switch to a 2B. Uh, just hit some of those gray areas a little bit. This is not that dark. Okay, so there's a highlight right here, the cheek. And if you want it, you know, you can you can do just like what I did, just kind of, you know, outline it a little bit. Um, as long as it's not too dark, it should be okay. So like, there's another highlight right here. There's another highlight on the right on the nose. I'm just gonna hit that. And if you're looking at this right now, you're like, whoa, you know, those these lines are pretty ugly, right? And and it is. Um, but it's like laying the foundation. You just, you, I mean, you, know, you have to lay something there, right? And once you lay it in there, then you can clean it up later. Okay, so I'm just very broad strokes, very light. So there's a lot of repetition, I'm just kind of shading, shading. Okay. Here's some more shading, dark, dark. Now the smile expression, um, it's good and bad, you know, there's Expressions are harder to draw because if you if you make a mistake, um, the expression might not look good. But at the same time, if you do it right, it actually really helps because it just gives you more to draw on a face. Actually, starting to look like uh, is it Kate Blanchett? Okay, I believe this is her name is Lee Bing Bing. She's like some kind of model actress. Now, in the end, you know it might not look as much like her, but that's okay. Because seriously, if you want to look exactly like her. Um, I'm switching to a 4B. Um, you might as well, you know, just kind of trace it to get the outlines before you start shading because, you know, if, what, so why spend all that time trying to measure stuff if all you want is, you know, and, and if, if all you need is, uh, is the accuracy, then you might as well trace it. Since we're doing just sketch, kind of like exercise, you know, just to draw a pretty face. As long as it looks pretty, it's fine for this case. Okay. So now I'm just kind of going in and you know start doing more adjustments and details, make things a little bit more complicated. A little bit more shading and this is, I kind of skipped it. Uh, for the video because it's it's a lot of repetitive uh, shading. Uh, it does take a while, and since I'm not smudging, it takes a little bit longer. And if you're asking why aren't I smudging, um, in general, I don't, I don't I don't like that look. It's a little bit too smooth. I like um, I like the sketchy look. Um, I mean, I could do another video on on smudging and, but um, you know I I. I I like cross hatching. I, I like this kind of look. So, all right. So, uh, in order to shade this, I'm just using a 4B and just. And one thing to keep in mind is and I talk about this uh, on my other videos a lot. Is you know when you're when you're shading, you know your your um, pencil tip becomes really dull. You know it's like it's kind of like a wedge, right? One one side would just tend to flatten up. So if you need like a hard um, uh, tip. Just turn it a little bit, right? Because it's really sharp on the other side, and you see a lot of artists do do this as well as, as they're sketching. They keep on turning the pencil because you know once the uh, tip gets all chiseled on one side, it becomes too flat, 
And if you want, you know, like little details, you know, you gotta turn it so that, you know, kind of like the eyelash, you gotta turn it so that you get this sharp edge. And it really helps to, uh, um, you know, to, to, to have that because, you know, you don't wanna be working with a really, you know, flat edge all of the time because usually um, the drawing will require you to uh, have more flexibility in the in your tool. All right, so I'm just kind of keep shading and correct for the forms as I'm doing it. And the shading methods is just really um, cross hatching and a lot of uh, wiggly shapes, whatever you need to do. But don't go in, just don't go into one direction um, too many times because uh, the the paper becomes a little bit too slippery and you end up just rubbing the uh, texture off. And in general, you can't you know scrub the paper too many times. So, but at the beginning you might have to because you know you keep making mistakes. But all right, so here's the final drawing. Um, I just kind of pushed it you know more and more uh, with the two B and the four B and just kind of correct for some more shapes along the way but uh, either way you know it's a pretty looking face so hope you enjoy this and I will see you next time